What's up, y'all? This is Lucian, the Sneak Aficionado, and um, I'm going to give one of my advisory vids today on the vlog. Um, got hit up by some some younger sneaker lovers. <coughs> Excuse me. The weather's bothering me. Um, about how do you get your sneaker collection going? First off, if you're still growing, this is really not for you. Economically, it's not for you because you're going to outgrow your sneakers unless you take really good care of them and you're going to resell them really soon and you have that type of situation in life where you're able to constantly buy sneakers over and over. Um, this is probably not for you. you. You just want to get yourself a nice, you know, few dope pair that you really want and take care of them. You know, whether you're buying them or your parents are buying them for you. But if you're young and you're still growing, this is not something you should do. Just my opinion, because this can be costly, believe it or not, if you don't have revenue coming in um, via your shoes or you just got a job in or whatever situation in life, you're able to do this because, you know, some people collect cars, some people love shoes. Um, I love shoes, well, a lot of shoes. But the resale thing and um, just having sneakers to have them and uh, not being able to hold on to them because you're still growing, plus it's expensive. So if you do want to get involved in it, and um, you, you want to have some dope kicks in your collection, I'll give you a couple of things to look at. First off, always check the price. This is common sense. Um, if you're paying $189 for a pair of sneakers and you want to hold on to them for a while, take good care of them, keep them. You know, if your parents are buying them for them, show them that you're keeping the sneakers up. But sometimes, depending like the way I grew up, it made them not want to buy you another pair, right? Due to whatever's going on in your household. So you, that's a tip as well. But don't dog them out on purpose. But keep them up and they'll buy you another pair, you know, out of good grades or good behavior, whatever you're doing. But the other thing, too, is that get yourself a little small job, you know, something under the table that's not illegal, and get your own kicks. Buy them yourself, like I did. Um, my first foray into having cool sneakers was when I was 13. I used to sell music. Um, and I made a lot of money from that too. So I was buying my own clothes and my own shoes and, you know, my mom couldn't say anything to me because it was mine. Um, and she had her opinions about it, but it wasn't costing her anything. So it was one of those just opinions, you know, she couldn't do anything about it. But, uh, that's how I got started. And I started taking care of my, my kicks and stuff like that. But it also made her not want to buy me anything too. <laughs> So there's a, a drawback with that as well. The other thing too is that look at the, the price and the sales and things like that. And ask yourself, do you have to have them right now? Do I have to have these right now? And also at that age, the teenagers, what I'm really talking about, the, the social pull about what you have on and people's opinions about what you're wearing is pretty, pretty powerful back then or, or at your age. Um, if you're into being accepted, and your money doesn't allow you, whether someone else's money, allow you to buy those things, allow you to be accepted. Once again, this is not for you, okay? However, be the individual that I've always been, and you buy what the heck you want. You, It's yours, these are yours. You might start a new trend or wave, as you all call it, but um, some of these sneakers you see right here were on a table just like this in the store. And I got some cool stuff in here. If you see my outfits, when I put these things on, you're like, wow, man, those are, you got those for how much? So the first thing to talk about are these flights. Um, people have opinion about flights. And it's more the uh, the Jordan junkies. They're fake Jordans. No, the, uh, the flights are, a lot of times, if it's not the Nike flight, it's the Jordan flight, right? It's, it's just a sub-brand of it. And um, they aren't necessarily Jordan brand flights. They're just the model shoe that they come out with. And this is a really cool colorway. You see, I got it. Uh, and I did this for a reason. I didn't clean these up to let you know how long I had these. So I got like uh, dust and things on them and stuff like that. And I've worn these a few times. And I've got a lot of compliments because I have a couple of outfits I can rock with these. So you got the infrared and that aquamarine going on and that new book black. And these are just dope kicks. And I got these for $39.99 in Shoe City back in Maryland, Edgewood. I, I talk about that store a lot because they have a lot of steals in there. Um, then I have uh, these Nikes. Heck, I can't remember what these were called. So the, I like the colorway with these. 
Uh, I bought these from a, uh, a Champs. Yeah, I think it was a Champs. And a uh, Harford Mall. Champs or finish line, Harford Mall. But these are about four years old. I got these in 2013 for um, $29.99 on the clearance rack. And I just like the colorway. You know, I, I like this kind of aquamarine teal type deal right there. You know, I, I like that colorway. Next, our, um, Adiz was getting into um, the basketball shoe game and wanted something techie. So I copied these. These are like street ball somethings. I can't remember the name of these deals. But I like the colorway. You see the, the, the dust and stuff on here. <laughs> and I've worn these a few times. These aren't even broken in. You see the crease in. You know, you see that in the gel. I need to clean them up, though, so these don't turn on me. But I like the colorway. I like how the tongue set out when I put my jeans on. It was cool. And uh, I got these patent leather dunks right here that I think I've worn, like, maybe once or twice. Got these also for $29.99 at the same um, shoe store, Champs of Finish Line, one of those. I got these from Foot Locker, though. These came from Foot Locker, White Marsh Mall in Maryland. Then I found um, some dunks. Going way back, this is 2010. I got these dunks from um, the Post Exchange on Fort Sam Houston. These dunk SBs skateboard. Found out what that meant because they pad. They get extra pad in the collar right here. Got these for 39.99. And the PX doesn't discount a whole lot of stuff. They will work it. They will leave stuff on the shelf forever because they know someone's gonna buy them eventually. And once they hit the clearance, it's probably like one or two, and it's some crazy size, like a 14 or whatever. All right, moving right along to some of my current purchases right here. Uh, got these red. I wanted a pair of all red sneakers because I have all blue sneakers. And I was like, I need to add these to the repertoire. No gang affiliation at all. I'm too old for that stuff. Um, but yeah, got these from the uh, the Shoe Palace for, um, actually, they weren't even $39.98 anymore. They were $29 when he rung them up. So I got these um, Dump Comfort Premiums right here in red. And they call it light crimson, red if you will, and 20% uh, off on these deals as well. So this, this was still, you know, all white jeans, all white polo outfit, a couple splashes of red in there, and I got these. So that was something I wanted. I like the um, Nike was doing a lot with this uh, this embossed star rays deal right here. It's on the Doug Boo. They did some um, Air Force Ones like this as well. Um, so that, that pattern is about a year and a half or so old. Then, my biggest deal right here were these Griffey in the Flax colorway. I love Griffey's. I did a, um, a video on Griffey's a while ago, if y'all know. And I was watching these. I actually stalked these for a while. And I was shocked to see these that went on sale for $59.99 at um, Foot Locker at North Star Mall. Yeah. Was out just kind of wandering around, see what was going on. It's tax time, so the sales aren't really there. But sometimes you stumble across a few joints. And uh, what triggered this, from what I understand, is um, my intel tells me that the Air Max day is coming. And um, the Air Griffey Max is part of that family, they say. Completely different sneaker, in my opinion. So they ran a sale on this. So some of those colorways that were sitting at 119 139 are now down to $69, $59 if you can find them. Um, I think the boy uh, Murray on the uh, the sneaker Facebook page he copped the blue, white, and black colorways of these for fifty nine, if I'm not mistaken, as well. So remember, I told you I had these in the flax or wheat or butter, as we call it back home, colorway right here. But that's how you do it. You you shop for sales and steals to get your collection up, and you really don't look for a particular shoe. You get a shoe that catches your eye and you say, you know something, I gotta get those. Those are dope. And I'm not worried about what whoever says what because I have a lot of sneakers that I personally like and I'm cool with them. They match my outfits, they're different and they spoke to me and it was good for the price point. Matter of fact, when I bought uh, these, I actually purchased um, four of the sneakers that day and I, I, I went under like $150. It was crazy. And um, I still got some of my donated pair of them, but these are some of the more cost-friendly pairs that I found below. And um, I'm also going to show a pair in the next video that I'm going to do on my New Balance theme that just ran around and I found a pair of New Balance, a really cool colorway for the cheap. So remember, like I always say, it's a prime example for those you are trying to get your collection up. 
especially the younger guys and ladies out there, is not how much you paid for them, it's why did you pay that? So if you're in the fads, you want to fit in like, hey, I got these. Did you really buy them for you or you bought them for someone else to check you out? And say, hey, I got those. I say that sometimes because I actually have them, but I didn't buy them because of, oh, I'm going to kill them with these, man. Wait till this. No, I'm not at that point in life. I'm just able to buy the sneakers because I want them. My thing, if I spend $150, I'm trying to get at least two, maybe three, depending on where I'm at. I go to Marshalls, uh, Ross, Burlington. I'm trying to come out of there with three or four pair because I know they're marked down dramatically. Also, um, the outlets. They're B grade sometimes. Sometimes they're actually the legit shoe. Um, can't remember the cat out in Houston who did a, a video on that, but he did an awesome video on people's opinions about buying sneakers from the outlet. People, don't worry about that. Only thing I want to tell you, because I have a lot of sneakers from the outlet, is when you pick up that shoe, okay, they're there for a reason, marked down for a reason. Might be somewhat a small defect that you're going to have to really just look at the sneaker if it just yells out at you and it's clearly a defect and then don't buy it unless you know you can do something to fix it you know people are into restorations as well that's not my thing i'm not going to go to the thrift and cop some um some beat sneakers and put them back together a little bit make them acceptable to somebody and buy because they don't want to pay full price for them that's not my line i leave that to the other guys out there that's just not what i do because the sneakers i buy 90% of them, I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear them at some point. Plus, I can give you a, a good um, review on the shoe as well. All right, and it's a respect because they see, oh, you know, yeah, he's actually wearing those. Look, the sole's dirty. You all aren't just sitting in the box looking pretty. If you got it like that, you got it like that. You know, I actually have it like that, but I, I prefer to wear my sneakers. All right, but I have so many, they don't get beat up. And that's the key with your collection when you start getting all those shoes out there is, um, Take them off. You see me take the stuffing out a lot of my shoes right away. You know, when we're doing the videos, you'll see like the stuffing and stuffing because I, I take care of them. I clean them off a lot of times. Like these are just dusty because they're sitting on a rack. I don't have the box for these shoes. That's why. Because I bought them off a shelf and they weren't in a box when I got them. And that's fine. I mean, if you're somebody that's selling kicks and you got to have the box or you, you're a box collector because it makes you feel like you're legit, so be it. That's cool. That's what you do. Nobody's going to knock you on that. It's just depending on space and preference. That's all. And um, sometimes I kick myself in the head because I'm like, I should have kept the box to those. Does it increase the resale value? I mean, fake sneakers have box too. Have boxes as well, excuse me. So that's something to consider. But that's my tip for copying, um, well, excuse me, building your sneaker collection and how to do it. Uh, the the uh, promos and things like that join the um the shoe store websites you know the foot Lockers, the champs they run promotions where if you're ordering sneakers there's free shipping sometimes they'll send you like twenty dollars off um the nike outlet depending on your purchase from time to time they give you a 25 or even 50 dollar based upon what you buy a uh, little gift coupon and those come in i've gotten several of those over the years um, so that's that's cool you know that's that's good stuff you want those sales you want those deals um I'm not a guy that's going to be paying retail, full retail for anything. Because most places give me a military discount. 